low boxing fanatics and oh boy do I have a treat for you today as I always say I am all about interesting fights and today we're gonna be talking about two things one is the boxing fight yes he's coming back the long waited legend returns no one else than diamond boy himself Manuel Cha is coming back and not only he's coming back he is being pushed up all the way I mean he did use a cherry picker <coughs> and honestly guys uh, take a guess what else is on the line yes there is even you could somehow you could say a belt on the line so hold back hold back guys uh, I'm gonna give you three guesses which belt will gonna be on the line here okay guys don't look surprised we all knew it gonna be WBA I mean besides that you could literally get WBA belt in a Kellogg's box uh, yeah well it's WBA is it regular title it just says world heavyweight so of course it's regular title what else I mean you really thought that after like last five fights when WBA said listen listen guys this is the last time we are relinquishing the title it's not coming back it's done it's done it's, it's done for good of course they are back <laughs> they need to make money but yeah you know what guys um, I found this fight so entertaining I'm like 95% sure that uh, my dear diamond boy gonna lose but that's fine I I just like to watch him struggle in the ring I'm not gonna lie it's so amusing for me I don't know why so yeah guys well but let's see what the world wide web thinks about this fight not gonna even go to the bookies okay not gonna even go to the bookies we know that uh, Kubra Puvalev just gonna my god he just gonna turn Charles face into like a speed bag that's about it but yeah let's see what the statistics are coming from the uh, yeah boxing forums well uh, that looks a bit one-sided if you ask me on the same point the one person who said that Char gonna win by decision <laughs> I mean lucky KO I mean that's you know that's always possibility puncher's chance but outboxing Kubra Puvalo in his hometown uh, yeah that's not happening yes guys some of you may say that I shouldn't be kicking a man when he's down but in my defense in my defense guys Cha doesn't believe he is man who is down so I think I'm more than um, justified if you may say that to take the shots against him plus he's arrogant you know and he's one of those boxers who build up his boxing kind of aura or brand on him being brush and calling people out so yeah kind of just matching the energy to be honest but let's go to something more positive so yeah guys my super side project it's flip-flop mafia yes I designed these absolutely amazing um, size 9 flip-flops or sliders um, why size 9 because yours truly is a dumbass and uh, let's not talk about why they're size 9 from this point on but they're just size 9 so yeah guys become the sensation what is flip-flop mafia <laughs> uh, join them now by well ordering I mean look at that they're bright orange color so they are easy to spot and very hard to miss at your home or whatever so you know you're not gonna have the same situation as me when I lose one of them and I just don't know where they are so yeah guys the link is in description unfortunately they are only size 9 and uh, yeah if you need them buy for yourself or buy as a gift and um, you know keep posted man and follow my journey about creating uh, functional fashion or useful products for people anyway guys thanks for watching have a good day and mr zas out